Life is a manifestation of cosmic energy. It is dynamic and flows out of itself. The universe is a holy ground that inhabits, sustains and breathes out the divine goodness. Every life has its origin from the divine. Therefore, each life that emerges from its source holds the divine power to create and to become. No life is created for itself. Generating new life is a joyful responsibility which the nature accepts in all graciousness. In its earnestness, life stretches itself to something more, creating an extension of itself. The germination of any sort of life requires a fertile ground, a firm base, in which the life can be laid secure, sheltered and brought up. The life of one being affects the other and creates an impact. The story of the Bulbul speaks of this reality. The Bulbul is one among the many other species who pays keen attention in the bringing up of its young broods. The red vented Bulbuls make their nests on bushes, trees and plants with rootlets, leaves, fine twigs or soft fibre. Finding a favourable location to pitch the nest is of utmost importance in order to assure the safety and well-being of the eggs and chicks. Therefore, they make a careful study of the possible locations, environment and the surroundings. The male and female birds together spot an ideal location to make their nest. The nest is an open cup. They construct an ephemeral structure using their sharp beaks and flexible necks. Even though the nest is used for a very short period, the hard work put towards making a nest is much more than its span of utilization. Gradually, the cup-shaped nest becomes the transforming vessel of life. In it, the mother bird lays the eggs, letting the dormant energy to be bloomed into wholesomeness of life. The eggs are pale pink and spotted with shades of red. Every egg contains the treasure of mysterious generative power, longing to be born. Incubation is a gradual process that demands patient and watchful waiting. It takes 12 days of hatching for the chick to be formed. As the gradual process of embryonic evolving begins, the life within expands. The hatching processes the stages of transformation. Eventually, the throbbing to be and to become turns out to be a reality. Within a span of two weeks, life grows beyond the shell. The generative spirit breaks open the protective shell letting the chick be born. The transformed egg receives an identity. The egg becomes a chick. There is life. There is movement. There is yearning. It holds the colors of beauty and vigor. The birth of one 
creates in the mother bird the excitement and longing to see life coming out from every egg. It becomes an expectant and irresistible stage. The delay in hatching creates additional tension and the mother bird panics. She gets fully immersed in the uncertainty of the unhatched egg. Both get equally involved in the upbringing of the young, making it a mutual venture. Young broods are fed on caterpillars and insects. take turns to feed. To cleanse and to safeguard. The parents unconditional love, dedication and watchful caring are awesome. It is amazing to see how both parents pay keen attention to the minute needs of the young brood. Their lives become an act of constant bearing, patient waiting and purposeful giving. The act of giving never creates a vacuum. On the contrary, it is able to rejoice in the becoming of another life. The giving turns out to be an outlet to the goodness within. The parents become alert and highly sensitive to the surrounding. The bulbuls are known for their resistance to human and environmental pressures and tolerate disturbances to their habitat. They take extra care to protect the young from the prey and the other destructive forces. The unfavorable weather creates additional tension among the parents, more so when they are not yet ready to fly. Parents look for ways to shelter their offspring. In most situations, their wings turn out to be the most protective weapon. They envelop the young beneath their wings until they feel secure. The untiring efforts of the parents provide well-being and healthy disposition to the young chicks to enter into another phase of life. Gradually, the young brood is raised from a life of dependency to independence. They learn to look beyond the nest and encounter new possibilities waiting beyond the walls of the protective nest. Become daring to venture into the unknown. Through trials and tests, they begin to find their strength in their wings. The parents closely accompany and support their initiatives. Each takes wings to their destiny, responding positively to life's call. Every life that goes out from the Divine Source carries a unique power. 
it is charged with the potentialities to create and to become. It speaks of the need to be so that the other becomes. To be available so that life is made possible. To be willing so that there is a transformation. To lose in order to find. Spread your wings on to be what you ought to be. Let not the privileges of life stagnate you. Get onto your wings, living your vision. Fly to encounter yourself. Fly to explore your strength. Fly, fly, fly to the destiny of your life.